Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt, also known as the King of Armor Destruction, the Armor Wizard, Zap Zap. And we have a barrier, not an armor test today per se. We're gonna step on the collaboration train, woo woo. We are teaming up with Banana Ballistics to test our Mark 211 Ralphus in 50 BMG. This is the super cool and super expensive round that has a tungsten penetrator. What's our target gonna be today? This inch and a half piece of grade 50 mild steel. I'm going to use his 16 inch barrel. I'm going to use my 29 inch barrel. Basically for any armored applications, you're gonna want a hardened steel, not a mild steel. This 1.506 inch or 38.25 millimeter block of grade 50 weighs 18.290 pounds or 8.296 kilograms. We're hoping that we're gonna be able to take a shot of our Mark 211 somewhere up here, see how far it will penetrate, and if we have enough on this, we'll take a shot of our Mark 263 right here. This is a newer armor piercing offering in 50 BMG, has a very large and hardened core with tungsten mixed in. As a general warning, exercise extreme caution when shooting any type of steel at close range, especially with 50 BMG and any type of armor piercing rounds. We've built this little wood box to hopefully contain all of the bits that is going to happen with this. We've got some play sand, you know, thanks to Banana Ballistics, we know that the box of sand is good at stopping all kinds of threats like sandbags. So we're gonna put that on the outside of our rig so that if we have anything splashed through, we have a AR500 armor plate behind it to hopefully catch it. It's around 85, to 90 degrees outside today, we will run our Garmin Zero C1 that we picked up from Cabela's. A big thank you to them for sending that over. We've got our Barrett M107A1 29 inch barrel with our Rex Silentium MG50 on there. That suppressor is a monster for containing all of that blast. Up first is our Mark 211. This is early 90s FN. A big thank you to Nick's Night Vision for providing us with personal protection for my head today. Two thousand eight hundred and ninety seven feet per second. So much fire, so satisfying. This one's pretty easy to tell. There is our shot, and as you can see, there is a clean hole through there. This is one telltale sign that we're using legitimate. Mark 211 is how small that penetrating hole is. Here's the back side. It looks like it struggled a little bit there. And then our backup plate caught it and didn't penetrate this. This is just a standard level three from AR500 Armor. You can see some of the tungsten carbide right here. There is actually the tip of our core there that we dug out of here. Interesting. Let's see how our Mark 263 does and maybe we'll shoot a round of m993 in 762 nato we flipped our steel around and we'll take a shot of our mark 263 this is from american marksman we did this in the past against our stack three eights and this did just as well as our mark 211 Here's our shot of Mark 263 again. This is how you can tell standard AP or API versus our Mark 211. You can see how much smaller that penetrator is, but look at that. That is clean through there. Backside. Now here's the even better part. Here is our AR500 plate. There's a hole there. Now it could be argued that is in the same area that we shot the other shot, but there is our penetrator in the back of that two by 12 there sticking out. Very, very impressive. We'll take one final shot against our mild steel. We've gone down in caliber a little bit. This is our 762 NATO M993 from NAMO. This is the US Army's current issue armor piercing round in 762 NATO. I do believe XM or M1158 has replaced it, but I haven't seen hide nor hair of that as proof yet. 
We have our 24 inch Savage 110 Tactical. Thirty-two, thirty-seven. I wanted to be down here, but I think I have my offset set for 45 feet, so we're actually high. But there's our shot of M993 right next to the Mark 211. I would say that. <laughs> in all fairness it doesn't matter there is no pass through there there is a little bit of a dimple and if my camera woman can zoom in on that you can see there's made it quite a ways in there peel the jacket off and then the little aluminum sabo on the inside maybe we'll have to see how far that went in with a time to grind Well, folks, I didn't think we'd see any better performance than our Mark 211 today, but that Mark 263 just came in there and drove right straight through that inch and a half mild steel, the AR500 level three plate behind it, and even broke through most of our two by 12 behind it. That is a rather impressive performance, and the core that you can see right here is still pretty much intact versus our tungsten, which is a little more brittle after penetrating that than broke up on our plate. Our M993 didn't do too bad. It left a dimple in the back of there, but it had no chance of penetrating this giant piece of steel. With all that being said, it's time for me to get the heck out of here, but at the end of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who helped make these possible because there's a lot that goes into them. Number one is my family. They came out here today to do some shooting with me and help me get some various yard work done. Number two is Banana Ballistics who wanted to collaborate with me on this test. If you haven't seen his video yet, I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a card here. I'll pin a comment. Definitely go check out the various different ballistic tests that he has. I kind of like the style that he does and the various different barriers that he tests against. Number three is American Marksman. If you're looking to pick up any Mark 263 or other various 50 BMG 556 or 300 Blackout, definitely go check them out. Number four are my Patreon, Subscribestar, and YouTube channel members. I have that turned on. I have a campsite in the description below. It is a landing page like other content creators have. I have some discount codes and affiliate tracking links. A lot of armor actually and to like PSA and Brownells. So if you're looking to make a purchase, those links cost you nothing and they earn me a sales commission. What I do with that is I put it right back in the channel. That Mark 211 was around, right around $100. And of course, number five is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.